Both teams looking for a win here. Kentucky looking for their first SEC win. Florida, their first SEC home win of the season as Florida in their white jerseys have the first possession of the game. And Holly, these two teams a lot alike as they battle and look for these important wins in early conference play. Yeah, both teach both teams really preach defense. They live and die from the defensive end, and they want to turn those steals into layups, Brenda. So it'll be a highly intense game today, especially on the defensive end. Faith Dute scores first for Florida as Kentucky has their first possession. Robin Benton, the leading scorer on the year. She got into foul trouble early in their game against South Carolina. As we take a look at the Kentucky lineup, Benton the leading scorer, Jada Walker, one of the tops in the conference in steals per game. Maddie Shear, back-to-back -back games where she's set a career high. Blair Green and Naya Leveretter round out the starting lineup. And I, I, you'll see Maddie Shear, she's really coming into her own game, really settling in with scoring, do, does a lot more things. Uh, great assist, great passer, but Kentucky needs her to step up and score today. And there she is, Maddie Shear making the basket here. Alongside Holly Warlick, I'm Brenda Van Lingen. Here's the starting lineup for Florida. Rimdahl, KK Deans is the leading scorer. And there inside, you see the work of Shea Kyle, the transfer from Purdue. So the two interior players getting the first scores for Florida. Kelly Ray Finley, the SEC Coach of the Year last year, having a remarkable year as an interim head coach, led Florida to a 10 and six record, tied for fourth place. Kentucky going to come out in their full court pressure and Holly, Kentucky leads the SEC in turnovers forced per game. And they do it with great ball pressure and then they get up in the passing lanes. They're gonna try to make you uh, go back door and, and they're gonna get their hands on all. Florida's only win in SEC play was on the road against Texas A&M. They've lost their last two in a row to Georgia to Arkansas and Georgia, but they have gone inside for their first three baskets of the game. There's Kyle again. Yeah, great start, Brenda, for Florida. Going inside, taking high percentage shots in the paint. Blair Green over Dute, no. And Kyle there to clean it up. K.K. Deans, the transfer from West Virginia. She's the leading scorer on the year for this Florida squad. Rimdahl has been shooting well as of late, but misses that one. And a nice dish off, and Kentucky has four on the board after missing the last seven games with a lower leg injury. It's nice to see her on the floor, and I know Coach Finley's excited about it. She's had to move people around to adjust to a lot of injuries. Averaging 16 points a game led the way. So, I mean, really, Holly, because they have had to shift around uh, Florida, what, what will this mean to have her back in the lineup? Well, players can move back to their, quote, true positions. They've had to move players around. A, a four players had to play the three position, and, and so guards have had to become point guards. So they've had to move players around, and so with her back into the, the lineup, they can go to their true position. We'll see how that impacts the game. Florida up eight to four and ringing it up from long distance. She was really struggling from the line because it was in her head, and shooters, you got to keep shooting. And, and Coach Elsie said, took her mind off of, of telling Maddie, hey, you worry about getting us in the offense. Your, your offense is going to come. In the last two games, it's it's her offense has really uh, connected. She's reset her career high in each of the last two games. Benton gives it up underneath. Yeah, good little inside interior pass. High percentage shot. It's, uh, it's for uh, Kentucky tied with Florida. So the first shot attempt by Correa is off the mark, but Kentucky, that's their first miss after making the last three in a row. They kick out, and no good. K.K. Deans throwing it ahead. Ricard's there to gather it in, and oh. she is fouled on the shot attempt. Yes, they do. 
they average over 16 made free throws a game. They attempt about 23 free throws per game. Leading the scorers for Florida are their interior players, Kyle and Dute, each have four. They're on the bench right now for the Gators. Kentucky is led by Shear with four points in the early going. And Petty onto the court, Asia Petty missing that one, but such an important X factor for Kentucky this year. But she is, and, and she's a great rebound. As Grimdahl goes to the line. And they're easy two points. Uh, Florida shoots the ball well from the free throw line, so Kentucky's got to really pay attention to this and make sure that, that they don't give those opportunities, those easy buckets. Shear waiting for the screen. Pulls up. Too strong. And a whistle and a foul on the rebound. She'll shoot two. And Florida is already in the bonus. All their other trips to the free throw line have been because they were fouled on drives to the basket. Shea Kyle, the transfer from Purdue. And Kentucky's not taking advantage of their ability to defend and steal. They've got to convert those steals into points. You can see the ticker on how long it's been since Kentucky has scored. In transition, Pariah still hasn't been able to score in her first appearance since early in December, but Florida gets the offensive rebound. And Rimdahl all the way to the hoop. That's the first basket either team has made in quite a while. Great hesitation. Jada Walker goes to the free throw line as she was fouled by Correa. First points in well over four minutes for Kentucky. And the made free throws, Holly, allow Kentucky to, to set up in their full court pressure. Uh, they want to use that press to take time off the clock, limit Florida from getting in their half court offense. Florida's being really smart. They're not settling for outside jumpers. They're, they're taking the ball hard to the basket and, and Kentucky's got to adjust. They're fouling on the drive. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Benton changing directions high off the window, too strong. And, can, and Florida can take one last shot if they choose to as the shot clock is shut off. Really smart. Use the clock, get the last second shot. Ricard's bucket. Eight nice. point lead for Florida. A 10 to two run for Florida as we end the first quarter. Yeah, and Florida's doing a great job of clicking on all six. And you'll see Brendan now, Kentucky's changing the pace a little bit, goes into a zone, and what does Florida do? They hit a three. And they've extended the lead now to double digits. And stumbling through the lane, but aggressively attacking is Shear. Maddie Shear, as we mentioned, ha is coming off back-to-back 20-point -back game. Media relations people for our schools give us kind of stats like this. She's the only player in the SEC that's averaging just under 10 points, but over five rebounds, over five assists, and two over two steals per game, Maddie Shear. Four for seven start, Kentucky 0 for their last 10 here on the road at Florida. KK Deans, a 16 to four run for Florida. Kentucky has got to find a way to score and instead they commit an offensive foul. So not unusual for the transfer from West Virginia, but Holly, you and I saw her when she played at West Virginia and she went down with that knee injury last year, about a year ago. It was January 29th in a game against Baylor and it's so good to see her back full speed. There it she really is again. Is. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> it is. I just am so happy for this young lady and uh, a great competitor and just is really, really prepared. She 
prepares for every game just so hard, and it's exciting to see her out there. As she we, drove in. Yeah, Brenda, we talked about Cambridge. She's an energy player. She's a little freshman. She didn't know she's supposed to be scared. She attacked the basket, made the layup. Well, she's the younger sister of Jordan Cambridge, who has been very successful for Vanderbilt. You're working overtime. <laughs> Looking forward to it. That's gonna be that's gonna be fun. And how about KKD? She is unconscious right now. Well, when you feel it, you feel it, Brendan. She is feeling it. All four shots of the quarter. This Florida team was up on Georgia here at home in their last game. They were up by nine going into the fourth quarter and got outscored 34 to 20 in the fourth quarter. So they want to make sure they stretch out this lead if they can. And Vanderbilt, 8.30 Eastern, right here on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. Five of 18 from the field. K Kentucky's got to find a way to put the ball in the basket. Now, Kentucky's been shooting from three-point range fairly well. They've made six three-pointers in four of their last five SEC games, but haven't connected on one today. Walker pushing ahead to Cambridge. Sheer open for three, still can't connect on the three-point range. Well, nice defense by Kentucky on the other end, and then coming down, and Sheer had a great look, and then you see her penetrating to the basket, and, and that's the Kentucky you need to see. The cards with the basketball out top. Dute yeah. commits an offensive foul. The Weish twins, along with Rimdahl, Ricards, and Correa. Walker right. able to get that Three one to one. roll in. It's a 10-point ball game. And Kentucky's chipping away, and they're doing it starting with their defense. Florida hadn't scored in, in a while. They've turned it over, so Kentucky doing what they do. Rimdahl. And Weish commits the foul going for the rebound. So Kentucky's got a little life here. So Florida got those four three-pointers from K.K. Deans and haven't scored since. Kentucky on a six-to-nothing run. Addy Bola, Addy Yeye at the free throw line makes the second of two. One thing, Holly, you mentioned in the first quarter, Kentucky was fouling too much, sending this Florida team to the line. Florida has not been to the line here in the second quarter. With, and, and their zone... Their zone helped, and also Leilana Correa was the leading scorer for Florida early in the season through the first 10 games of the year. She missed seven games with an injury, but she is back today. She's got three points. And the pass was a little too late, but it was a good look, solid look, good hard cut to the basket. Robin Benton goes to the bench with the two fouls. Asia Petty saves it under the Florida basket, gives Florida an extra chance, and a foul going to be called. This will send Maddie Shear to the free throw line. And Maddie Shear, an 87% free throw shooter. Leah Boston and number one South Carolina are in Nashville to take on Vandy at seven Eastern. Then Angel Reese and number five LSU take on Arkansas at the Maravich Center. Should be another great night of hoops right here on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. Yeah, Angel Reese, what a what an unbelievable player. She's she's doing so well for for LSU and uh, she's fun to watch. Yeah, looking forward to Thursday night on the SEC Network. You now KK Dean's kind of went into her path and and uh, was Cambridge in you know, I don't know if it was intentional. She was just kind of pivoting to throw out. So that's a that's a tough call, but that's a rule, and 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 we want to, you know, protect players. And so that's what this this that fouls in place for. Okay, so they had Asia Petty shoot the free throw to finish her part of the play. 
They send KK Deans to the free throw line and because it was declared an intentional foul, she gets two free throws and possession for Florida. Yeah. Kentucky. And right there, Ricard extends the lead to eight points for Florida. And is oh, knocked away. Hands. Yeah, great hands. And, and <laughs> then Kentucky gets it back with great defense. And we talked about how good these two teams are defensively, and they're showing it right now. And Florida gets it back. So both teams exchanging possessions here with good defensive play. It's stingy, and it's tough, and it's, it's smothering. An all-access pass to the college football playoff national championship game between Georgia and TCU at 9 Eastern. I know our SEC inside group, it, it was there with them. That might be fun to, to watch how they handled that. Yeah, they took them to the rage room and they could take their anger out on what TVs and printers, they just got to smash everything inside. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> just trying to change their mojo. Under 10 seconds remaining in the half. KK Deans going to work. Great Good team. defense from Kentucky, and Jada Walker heaves it over the <laughs> backboard, but a good defensive stand for Kentucky to end the quarter. A great stands. Jada Walker was throwing a touchdown pass. Kentucky's leading scorers on the screen. Shear with 10 points leading the way. KK Deans leads the way with the 14 for Florida, and Kentucky will inbound it. That's the second foul for Ricard. Kentucky is looking for their first SEC win of the year. They're 0-5 in SEC play. Florida is looking for their first SEC win at home. And, and smart play right there. Kentucky trying to establish an inside game, trying to get an easy look. And then what do they do? K Kentucky's defense is just so solid. Just a lot of hands on the ball. What a run for Kyra Elsie's team through the tournament to win last year. 10 newcomers this year wow. for Kentucky. We talked, to, we talked to Kyra about, okay, did you remind your team that last year when Florida came to Kentucky? You gotta give your team confidence. And this team is, is yes, they're getting beat, but they're sticking together and they're playing hard. Florida has been faced with their own adversity on the other end, Ricards makes the layup as they have a six point lead. But this Florida team has had to shift a lot of what they were expecting to do this season. They were preparing for certain roles and then Zippy Broughton was out with an injury before the season ever started. Then after that, they had the situation where, not sure when she's going to be back, but she is dressed today. And then Correa comes back after being gone seven games. So a lot of a lot of adversity for Florida to battle. Blair Green, who's made the only three-pointer of the day for Kentucky, dribbles in for a jumper. This is the closest Kentucky has been since it was tied eight to eight early. That's when Florida went on their run. Doing a great job. They're either scoring or getting fouled and going to the free throw line right, line right now. Seven of the last eight games for Florida. She's got six now. And a foul called on Blair Green. Five returners. And as you break down that roster, three grad students. Top of the key, short. Kentucky with an opportunity to chip into this lead. They have not led in this entire game. And a great move to the rim for Robin Benton. Boy, Kentucky's got Florida a little flustered. They're, 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 they're getting their hands on the ball. They're playing fast. And Micah Perry drains one from the top of the key. Can't overlook a team. So uh, every night's a battle in the SEC. And Kentucky is battling to get back. Here comes KK Deans in traffic behind her back. Little up and under. What a finish for KK Deans. 
Love it. I love when you rebound and run and you attack. And I, I just, Correa, just, she's got to get her timing back. Just handling the ball it looked like it was really difficult right there. Floater wow. off the window by <laughs> Walker. <laughs> the, the, what's the toughest shot in basketball is the floater, and that, well, that looked easy. The lefty from Richmond, Virginia, just a sophomore, Jada Walker. Robin Benton spinning, draws the foul. The foul on the shot will send Benton to the line. It's the fourth team foul of the quarter for Florida. Bama has won six straight against Liam Robbins and Vanderbilt. The story for today is Florida has gotten. Keeping the ball alive, pursuing the basketball on the offensive end. She was out with the injury, shot 72% from the free throw line. She's one of three so far today, two for four. And Correa now with four points. Quickly up oh, the wow. court, Kentucky gets, really gave, the Gators were sleeping a little bit and Walker scores it. Well, you heard the horn go off. I don't know if Kentucky just, uh, Florida just stopped. And Kentucky unable to get their first lead. The offensive rebound, Benton misses. And two shots for Kentucky. Right. Well, you see the official down the corner just playing on. And, uh, you know, some of Florida's players did not play on. Shot clock winding down for the Gators. Ricards bottled up by Benton, goes to the rim. She's able to score at the shot clock buzzer. What a shot. Nice attack. Jada Walker, pick and roll, sets up at EAA. It's a one-point ball game. A great pass going under the defense. Kentucky has the edge and points in the paint, and it's stripped away from Shear. So now here's Florida. the opportunity, Holly. Kentucky has their first the chance for their first lead of the game, and they get it with that free throw. And they're taking good shots, quality shots, shots towards the basket. Ricards, who hit that shot before the shot clock buzzer earlier, misses that one. Jada Walker pushing all the way. No. Addie Yeye with the rebound. A couple of defenders right there, and it will stay Kentucky basketball. Keep Kentucky in front of you. Make them make plays over you. Florida was ahead of Georgia by nine and let that one get away for the loss. So these two teams that want to get this win today, this, this last 10 plus minutes of the game so important pay really pay attention to the free throw shooting right now because florida's really gone colder 12 for 20. there's the mismatch you got to go to there's faith dude inside you were talking at the break that florida should get the ball inside to do clock is winding down in the third quarter the floater got it what a shot from Shear to give Kentucky the two-point lead going into the fourth quarter. Kentucky's yeah. come all the way back from down 16 to take the lead going into the final stanza. Have taken the lead. They lead 53-51 as we start the fourth quarter. Jada Walker, that's the one area of this game, though. Kentucky, one for 13 from three-point range. And Correa with the jumper. Yeah, and you see, Brenda, that Florida went back into a 2-3 zone trying to change the momentum of, of Kentucky because they're scoring inside, forcing Kentucky to try to score from the outside. Benton rips the ball away from the game. Robin Benton with 14 points, now 15. The cards trying to settle things down for the Gators. And a push-off by Correa. Kentucky with an opportunity to build on their lead. You mentioned Florida had a nine point lead over Georgia here at home against, against Georgia here at home and let that one get away right now. Kentucky has come back. They've got the lead, they get a steal. Benton scores and she'll go to the line again. There you'll see Florida's in a zone. They hit the little high post jumper. And then there's the steal from the defense, and there's another and one. Florida's got to get their composure back as Kentucky is on a roll. 
You can see Benton. And she completes the three point. And she's got 18 today. Well, now they got to capitalize and make their free throws. They've, they've really struggled a little bit the last couple of times at the line. And that ends an eight to nothing run for Kentucky. Jada wow. Walker somehow keeps her balance yeah. and scores. Yeah, Kentucky, they're just putting their head down and going to the basket. Florida's got to figure out how they're going to stop the attack to the basket. Kentucky's done a good job of adjusting on her, and they're, they're trying to run her off the three-point line and make her make plays out inside the arc. Benton pulls it back out. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Benton all the way to the left side. Yeah, Ben's putting on a show right now. Kyle is fouled. So the fourth foul on Leveretter. Kyle started strong in this game. Scoring a couple of baskets. Two intense coaches who are, are trying to grind it out and look for a win. And, uh, very important for both these teams. For cards from the top of the key, wide left. And that's a mismatch inside, and Florida needs to try to keep taking advantage of that. Kentucky from here on out sends Florida to the free throw line. Florida just four for nine at the line. Kyle came off the bench her freshman year at Purdue. Averaged about five points a game last year. She played in just nine games and had a nagging injury. So, fresh start here at Florida. Right, and Kyra knows how to win, and she's she won as a player, and she's she's won as a coach, and uh, you know, they, they, they've struggled early, but she hasn't given up on this team because she knows what it takes, and they play hard. They play with a lot of passion, a lot of heart. Big three-pointer on the other end. This is where Florida's got, this is where they're going to close the gap, is at the free throw line. I mean, Ricards is an 80% free throw shooter. Yeah. She made her first two, now she misses her second two, but Weish there for the rebound. Ricards all by herself. Yeah. An offensive foul. You, there's still a lot of time, Holly. What, is, what does Florida yeah. need to do? Well, I, I think attack the basket because you're, you, you can get to the free throw line. Go inside. Get a high percentage shot. You're not scoring well from the outside. Take the ball inside. No, they keep, and that's what they need to do. Now, the defensive end, you got to control, especially Benton. I mean, yeah, she, they she's didn't there. Yeah, she's really. KK Deans to Ricards. Ricards there off the go. window. Shear can't corral the basketball and falls down with it. Kentucky's going to make Florida earn every point they've, they've got left in this fourth quarter. Their defense is just still, look at the pressure on the ball. They go back inside to Kyle. She goes with her left hand this time. Short, nice rebound by Warren, and it's now a four-point game. Yeah, pounded inside. The steal for Florida. Yeah, got away with that one. Ricard's on the right side, scores, and she'll go to the free throw line. And Ricard's now with a chance to make this a one-point ball game. And it's short. Wow. And the official motioning that she was still dribbling the ball, so it wasn't a travel as she fell to the floor. Jada Walker all the way to the rim. Yeah, Kentucky just keep attacking the basket. Florida's got to figure out a way to keep their player in front of them. Ricard's again. What a game nice. this has turned into, and a nice pass to set up Jada Walker. Walker now with 17 for Kentucky, and right back Ricard. She's missed the last couple of layups, though. Wow. 
Kentucky's just going to spread the floor out and just wait till the clock runs down and get a, a last second shot in the shot clock. Spinning around, somehow Walker able to put it in with her offhand to extend the lead <laughs> to eight. Walker's hit some big buckets. He sure has. 19 points now for Walker. How about that shot from KKD? One That's minute what you remaining. Expect. Yeah, you expect that from KKD. Kentucky with a five point lead. What does Florida do here defensively? Uh, they they got to force a bad shot, but Kentucky's going to use the shot clock right here. Shear forces it up, and Moore in there with the rebound. Florida has a chance. They got to score quick. KKD has just hit that three pointer. She forces up another one. And a tip in by Warren. The ball is in the hands of Benton. She's directing traffic. Time is running down, but she gets it in. Almost stolen away. And then a foul called. Benton and Walker have 14 of the 18 Kentucky field goals here in the fourth quarter. 34 combined points for them. She thought you were waving your hands, Brenda Burton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's I. She's money at that free throw line. There, there was no problem with that. Ricards has it blocked. Dean saves it. And got a score goes quick. into the paint. Got it. 7.9 seconds remaining. Florida has a timeout left. This time Shear going to trigger it in. She's an 80% free throw shooter on the year. She's made all eight today. She's leading the way with 27 points. What an incredible fourth quarter she has had. Bringing Kentucky from behind to take the lead in this game. There you go. Still talking to us. <laughs> hey, if if I've got 48, uh, 28 points, I think I'd be talking 29 points. And you got to score. You got to score real, real quick. Not a lot of time needs to go off the clock. They get it into Kyle. They kick it out to Deans. Deans too strong. Their defense created havoc. They turned. They turned Florida over. They created points off their defense, and that's how Kentucky got this game going. And then it, it just snowballed from there. First point of the fourth quarter, not by Robin Benton or Jada Walker.